think one of the issues that we're beginning to realise is that really effective care during pregnancy and importantly post-birth can make an enormous difference to the life course of women and their families. All of my research is driven around supporting clinical practice, supporting better outcomes for mums and their babies. A lot of research I've done has been around safety and improving the quality of care for women. Having that relationship with a midwife all the way through pregnancy and having a baby and into the postnatal period is one of the things that women really value. A review of the evidence found that women have fewer interventions and they're less likely to have a preterm baby and they're less likely to lose their baby. Women get very poor outcomes as a result of poor pregnancies. I think sometimes in the past we have actually just focused either on physical health or mental health and I think more and more we're realising that you cannot separate the two. There's an awful lot of focus on the pregnancy, there's an awful lot of focus on the actual birth, but then the letdown I think happens in the first 24-48 hours post-birth when women are in pain, they don't realise about the implications of having wounds from caesarean section or for having perineal trauma and they don't realise, I don't think, about the consequences that may have on plans for breastfeeding. One of the areas that we are doing a lot of work on at the moment is looking at women support weight management when they've had their babies. Quite a large number of our population now are overweight or obese when they become pregnant and that's got all sorts of implications both for the management of their current pregnancy but also for their subsequent pregnancies. So postnatal is a, an opportune time to really get women thinking about positive health behaviour. We have really fantastic policy at the moment to support good midwifery and good maternity care. I think it's absolutely vital that we have the research to show how well we can work and also to protect our skills and our competences to ensure that we continue to provide the best possible care at, at all times.